I ain't gonna lie, if you guys can see me in the back row, man, I'd be so nervous. It was time when my younger brother had to grab on my shoulder and say, Jer, calm down. <laughs> it's just I'm so nervous because I want to go out there and perform with. I can't see outside in the crowd. I'm wondering what the crowd look like, what it's gonna be like in the bigger lights. Go so back in the room when I was facing Eris Lanny Laura, it felt like it was so much at stake. I even win his two titles or I lose mine. And, you know, just the thought of that had my mind racing. And now here is like I said once before, man, I, I go through them doors. I just, something hits me and say, man, this, you can't think that way the most time to go. Well, being led to the ring by uh, my <laughs> man Wale, a great rapper who, uh, well, Wale was funny. the perfect guy to walk out with for Austin Trout because, you know, everyone knew. Trout is a fish. You know, the only way they catch a trout is with a hook. And Wale had a song called Bait. And that was one of his biggest songs, him coming out. I was like, man, that's perfect, Bait. I said, why not have Wale to walk me out? This would be perfect. You know, Light Show is one of my favorite artists from the area. He's not as big as the other guys. He's on the rise. But I remember seeing Light Show in certain places. And he was on the same come up as me. He wasn't as big. And once I got the position to put him on a platform where it can give him more exposure, he had the perfect song, Shoot for the Stars. Some of my favorite ring entrances were when Floyd bought Lil Wayne out. That was a great ring walk. You know, man, like Adrian Boner and them guys, they walk out sometimes on their own, rapping their own songs. But it's something that, that gives the people something to watch. And it's awful entertainment. What makes the ring entrance for me so important that I wanted to relate to my situation. Like it was almost like I'm getting prepared for battle. And once I get out there and I walk through them doors and I able to see the crowd and I hear my name getting chanted swift, swift, swift. That's when, um, you know, the butterflies kind of go away. And I'm like, man, it's no more time to be nervous. It's go time. It's show time. When I'm inside the ring, everyone knows I have a big swift tattoo across my chest and i pound that to let everyone know who's in the ring swift the reason why i put up my my right arm to flex is to show off my boston gym which is hillcrest heights boston gym and then i shoot up right hand to go towards tom to say that man this is for you and that here we are it's time to fight once again after i take my shirt off i'm facing off my opponent I always look at them and see their body language. You know, if they're not looking at me or if they're kind of shaking when they're looking at me, eyes twitching. Uh, I just want to see if they're nervous at all, if they're feeling confident. I love Boston because it pays me money. It's like <laughs> I'm just a fighter, man. This, this overall boxing, strategizing, having to figure out what you have to do to get your victory. The preparation for the fight, dieting, it's keeping me healthy, keeping me out of trouble. And for me, boxing is something that gives you the mindset that I have to get this my all in, in whatever you do. When my career is over and I'm no longer boxing, I just want to be remembered as a kid that he did everything his way. He didn't want to be like anyone else. And I want to be remembered as a guy that no matter how big I got, I was never too good to remember where I started. <laughs>